I was destined to be um, a clinician, a mm -hmm. social worker. Got my master's in social work. But the, the two converged. They converged within myself because I came to appreciate when life was throwing curves, the expression came out artistically for myself. Okay. The second piece was I also appreciated and valued what I saw in my clients, mm. what I saw in the people that I was working with to support them through their trials and tribulations and moving towards stabilization. Mm -hmm. And if they yes. spoke of, I mm. like to fight, then that became a part of our process. If they okay. talked about um, the drawing mm -hmm. or the class where they were painting, I would ask, would you like to bring some of that in? And let's talk about that because the arts give words to what we cannot always express. Okay. It helps us release feelings, thoughts, and it allows us to oftentimes talk about situations that were of the past current that leads to pain. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the arts came in for me. Okay. Um, Lord knows if I could have been, I would have been a singer mm. on the stage. All right. <laughs> well, you know what? It's not too late. It's not too late to follow that. But thank you for that. Well, mm -hmm. how about you, Gary? What influenced you? Um, let me apologize because I'm in sitting in an airport, so you may just hear a whole bunch of stuff. So I apologize for that. <laughs> no problem. No um, worry. I think what what it, what really got me going was when I was a little boy about. Six or seven years old, I was sitting in the grant in the room with my grandma, mm -hmm. and this movie came on about a French dance company. <laughs> it was uh, it was it was so uh, unusual, and I was watching it, and I saw all these people dancing, and this this guy was dancing, and I didn't even know what it was. I just knew he was moving his body, and I was like, "Ma, what is that? What is that?" She's like, "That's dancing." I was like. But that's not, they're not doing the, the what were we doing in the jerk? They're not doing any of that stuff. Or... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. I mean, I was transfixed. This guy ended up, at the end of the movie, did this huge bronze jeté out the window in slow wow. motion. And I knew at that very moment <laughs> that that's what I wanted to do. Not jump out the window in slow motion. Right. Right, right. <laughs> but I, I certainly wanted to dance. That's that's exactly. But you know, when I grew up, when all of us grew up, there were no little black boys running around asking where is a ballet class, and there was right. really not people telling us where that was. So I had to wait until uh, the creator brought people into my life, like Tony Wingfield and the people who, who surrounded our little cohorts. Mm -hmm. And one of my best friends named. Um, uh, uh, LaVoy Blake, who is now passed, took me to my first African dance class at oh. Barbara on January 18th, 1976. And wow. I've been doing it ever since. That's all right. That <laughs> I've is been all doing right. It ever since. You know, it's, it's that what it gives me is it gives me a joy to to be able to to share what I do with our community, with our, our Black community, and with the communities at large, the other communities who are also part of us, but mm -hmm. especially for us. You know, it gives me a chance to share who I am and to give mm -hmm. back to the community. And it gives me a chance to be in, in, in the company of brilliant people like you all as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you for, for inviting me here, you know, to, to be amongst y'all because I feel like I'm at home. I miss Atlanta so much, it's crazy. All right. <laughs> yeah. well, now, how, let me ask this question. Raise your hand if you're a native Atlantan. All right, the natives are in the house. That's all right. <laughs> so, Tony, what's your story about how you became the phenomenal artist that you are? Well, it all started, well, first of all, well, um, thank you guys for having me on the panel today and um just a, i'm very thrilled to be with you guys today um i was very much inspired so much like gary as a young kid um i was exposed at a young age in my elementary school going to theaters going to 
uh, symphony orchestras and going to museums at a young age. But I was first gift by the man above with this gift of drawing. Mm. And my mother spoke, she tells everyone this. She said she knew I was probably an artist when at the age of two when she saw me draw a whole figure of body parts in an end of a book. I didn't have any drawing paper or anything. And I would draw in the, the clear, the clear pages of the books mm -hmm. at a young age. And so that's when it all started. And from there going to school, uh, I took you know, art classes and my teachers saw something a little bit lighter that I should, you know, they would expose me and, and make sure that I got the best schooling of any art instructions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So that's what, um, that's when it all started beginning. And after that, I mean, I just love art and creating. So I've been drawing since at a very young age. It, it, and, and, and the common thread that I hear from all of us is number one, that we feel our gift came from the creator. Oh, and yes. number two, you felt <laughs> what you're doing down in your spirit, your soul. Yes. And so uh, it's, and the word soul is actually our slogan for the PDF CCPA. We are soul. And that stands for we are sharing our unique lives through uh, performing arts. And so I I think that if there, and the Gullah Geechee has a saying that who tell we stories, we tell we stories. So yes. this is be, we have to tell our stories about even the arts. You hear people talking about the academics, the STEM and all of that. And I'm so happy they put that A in STEM to turn it into STEAM. Because STEAM, mm -hmm. it, yes. it sets the foundation. Do you agree? It sets the yes. foundation for doing mathematical equations or scientific experiences. Because first of all, you have to think creatively. And that's what put that in. Well, the next thing, because we're right at 3.30 and we want to leave room for any questions that people want to add to the chat. And let me say to the audience, thank you so very much for your patience. If you have any uh, questions you'd like to ask the artist, put it in the Q&A and I'll take it out and I will uh, uh, share it with the artists for your responses. And not only that, if I can take a station break and tell you, please subscribe to our Soul Collective newsletter by going to our website, the pdfculturalcenter.org, and you will get the latest and the greatest news about all the master artists that we want to showcase. And I'm just so proud to be in the company of this power right now. But going back to Michelle's um, uh, uh, questions that she wanted to make sure that you started with, what words of inspiration and advice would you impart with the up and coming artists today? What words of inspiration and advice would you share with <laughs> the young artists coming up? Well, I'll jump right in and say, believe in yourself, be happy in your own skin, bring that confidence into the, audi uh, uh, the uh, audition room and know that um, if it's yours, you'll get it. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not there perfect. You there but you go. Believe in what you know that you can do. And if, because for some reason, that camera will catch that artificialism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The live that's, audience gets it too. All yeah. right, all right. <laughs> that's true. You gotta come from your heart. That's all yep. I can say. And when you commit, stay committed from the minute you get on that stage until you leave. Yeah. That's, okay. It's like putting all right. on. All <laughs> right, Miss Corelli, you got something to add to that? See, see, I was just telling somebody, don't talk to me while I'm on the work. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, I'll, t I'll say what someone told me. Prepare yourself for longevity. Because as an artist, you don't know how long it's going to take. Mm -hmm. It might be a few months into it. It might be years okay. further down. Always prepare yourself for longevity, for the ride. Mm -hmm. So that means prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Be able to withstand all the things that come with being in this business. Yeah. You know, um, have a foundation, be grounded, um, and surround yourself with people who smile when you walk in the room. Mm. 
Yes. Good. This is this is powerful. Gary, yeah. you want to add anything real quick? Um, I, I would say um, working with intent and respecting your process. Um, um, whatever it is that you do and study your craft and always never forget oh. that art doesn't happen unless you work for it. You mm -hmm. got to be uh, and you got to know, like Chandra said, there's enough for everybody. There's okay. absolutely enough for everybody. Stay true, stay humble and authentic, you know, because that's the only thing that's going to get us through is, I mean, dancing, my particular craft is hard as nails. <laughs> Even now, and I'm sure every all of ours are, but the physical toll that it can take on your body and your mind and spirit can be very devastating. So you better love what you do. Because if you don't love it, it's gonna wear you out. <laughs> it's okay. gonna wear you out. Okay. That's it. That's it. Tony, yeah. you want any lasting words? I'm gonna keep going. Yes. I just want to say there are no limitations when it comes to creativity. Mm. There are yes. no limitations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's, That's it. That's good. <laughs> well, listen, let me take a question. Let me take a question from the audience real quick. Uh, uh, Rosalind Elliott asks, what would you tell the younger version of yourself today? And we don't, you know, if in, whoever wants to answer that the question again is what would you tell the younger version of yourself today I would tell me don't play around so much be serious <laughs> <laughs> stop making bad choices and following that lead but uh, as as Chandra said surround yourself with people that will smile when you walk in the room Mm -hmm. it, it it plants a seed of confidence mm -hmm. in yourself and belief in self mm -hmm. that you take wherever you go, whether it's before a king or queen or, or or one person sitting in your audience. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. This is good stuff. What about uh, you, Vicky, Doctor Ogulati? Um, <laughs> The, the first thing that comes to my mind all the time when I'm working with uh, working with clients, as particularly young clients, is you're the child of the universe and you have a right to be here. Okay. okay. You all have right. a right to be here. And it will come together. Don't give up. Be patient. Push forward. Mm -hmm. So that's, okay. that's what I'd like to offer. All right. Well, again, uh, let me cho choose one other thing. Um, if you had to choose a second career, what would have been? If you had to choose a second career, what would that have been? I see you shaking your head, dear. What's on your mind? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm so deep into what I'm into. I love that. Whatever, you know, I whatever, too. whatever things that I had or whatever focus I had was consumed by my art and was consumed by what it what, what it is now. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. That it's a great question. It's it's really making triggering me. Mm -hmm. But you know think. what? It doesn't you you might not have chosen a second career. Dance is all you wanted, and that's what you would have done. How about <laughs> anybody else? Is there somebody else that would have chosen something different other than being an artist? I love to cook. I'd be a master chef. I'm coming to your house. Okay. <laughs> I think we have put your address in the chat, girl. That. <laughs> welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Any, anyone else? What would have been your second career choice? I think my second career choice would have been dancing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from fashion designer, graphic artist to dance. Love dancing. We like to go out now to dance. Okay. <laughs> it's something about dancing is therapeutic. Yeah. I tell you, it is. It's spiritual. Breathe yeah. the soul. Yeah. Now, yeah. see, I think I would be, have been a graphic artist. I would want to, you know, you I would have been out of a here. painter. Or yes. Okay. Now. All, All right. right. Now, do y'all y'all dibble and dab into this right now, or don't you? You know, even though that's not your main profession, you kind of do a little graphic design or uh, dancing, Tony. 
you dip dance, into that. Like now, if I was go, dancing, always it was help would help me in creating. Mm -hmm. so yes, I think that would have been a choice for me had I, you know, taken. Okay, well, listen, what are you doing now that you'd like to share with the audience so they can follow you? What you have on the table right now? Um, oh, who is that? I, I'm running my mom. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm actually in Chicago now with my dance right. company, the Beauty Dance Theater, and we're having auditions for new dancers. So that's what I'm doing at this very, very moment. Um, I am uh, just fin finished creating a piece called um, e of Evidence and Confessions. That's a collection of uh, uh, Marvin Gaye, Holy Holy, um, mm -hmm. um, other gospel songs and Aretha Franklin's um, um, holy holy as well so mm -hmm. i'm really really excited about that and i would love to share it with y'all if y'all want me to if you wouldn't be able to share it to anybody else because of the copyright issue but if okay. you want to see it just let me know because i'm very proud of it and i'm very proud of my my students mostly they really creating through this genre of zoom has been crazy but okay. they still so that's what i'm doing now now, can we follow you? What's your web, website? How, how would the audience be able to pick up? You can you can go to Deeply Rooted Dance Theater dot org okay. and follow us. And I'll put it in the chat if you like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank uh, you. What about you, Tony? What you got coming up next? Well, right now, actually, I'm up in North Georgia in Chicor, mm -hmm. and I am... Um, revamping some furniture pieces, oh. bringing modern old antique pieces. So I'm doing this graphic designs on it and color colorations on them. Really? Furniture pieces, yeah. That's exciting. So Can you I'm all- all my friends up here, Dr. Reese is one. I've done a couple of pieces for her as well in, at her home. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to know, can I give you my address to mail that hat you wear? <laughs> Yes, y'all, yes. y'all sweating that hat. I am sweating well, that hat since he came behind on. This hat. My oh, fashionista okay. friend, Doctor Therese, I've been painting all day, so I came. I ran over, you know, so we could get set up. So I was all in painting and whatnot. And she was like, "You got to look the part." So guess who donated the hat? Oh, wow. <laughs> I owe that to Angela Reed. I like that. Well, so you look absolutely that. amazing in it. You yeah. really Thank do. You. All right. Okay. Sandra, you got anything coming up next? Yes. I'm working on this screenplay called The Ancestors, and it's <gasps> like having a baby. Okay. <laughs> the last quartermaster master of finishing um, uh, The Ancestor. Uh, 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 Michelle has cried with me. She knows Mm -hmm. how we're progressing but yes i'm very proud of it mm -hmm. and um so wish me luck on that oh oh, oh it's already done it is yes. already done thank you for thank sharing it so how could we find out more about that i don't know <laughs> i tell you what if you send it to us then we'll make sure that we we blast it for you how about that that sounds like a good thing okay, okay. all right <laughs> All right, uh, Chandra, what you got coming up next? Uh, I have my second season of Bruh on BET Plus. All right. Well, yeah, okay. so that, uh, that's next month. So it'll be pretty soon. Okay. And, and then uh, during the summer, I'll be releasing a single. Okay. Oh, and you have some one. concerts coming up too, don't you? Some virtual uh, concerts? Yes, yes, and they can always find out uh, it's Chandra Corelli on Facebook, um, the fan page of Chandra Corelli. Then you have um, IG, uh, the real Chandra Corelli. And then okay. you can go to my uh, website, ChandraCorelli.com. I try to keep it really simple. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Fabulous, That's Chandra. it. And Dr. Thank Ogilada, you. you have anything coming up next? Well, I will just continue to be a therapist and a director of a counseling center in higher ed. So, okay. okay. Well, and also, you're going to be a featured uh, uh, editor in our Soul Collective on the benefits of the arts, right? Yes, ma'am. You'll be doing a column. <laughs> we may call it, you know, uh, 
uh, Vicki's Corner, but she's going to share some things. And I think it's very vital in this climate that we're in that people can find some release through creativity, be oh, it yeah. knitting, mm -hmm. sewing, dancing, graphic arts, whatever it is. And that's the platform that we want to do. I know Michelle hates that she cannot be on here personally for whatever thing, but let me go back to the questions and see we have uh, somebody said, will the artists please keep us posted and informed through the PDF CCPA on what they're doing? So we, okay. you, you, you'll do that? Yes. You'll do that? Okay. All right. And so uh, let me make sure I didn't, I didn't miss anybody else. Gary did put his um, web address in the chat. It's deeplyrootedDanceTheater.org deeplyrootedtheater.org now they're telling me three people raise their hands but i don't where do i go to, to... <laughs> y'all work with a sister because i have no idea i'm so sorry i cannot find out how to get to you through that if you want to put your question in the q a we have uh, about a few more minutes left so would you do that for us and, and, and artists, please make sure you subscribe to our newsletter too and pass it on, you know, because I believe that, it, like like the Gullah Geechee said, who tell we stories? We tell we stories. And we want to tell your stories and love keep it. highlighting and showcasing. Michelle says, I would like to express my love and gratitude mm -hmm. to all. She said, we are artistic seekers and i'm glad that i know you all thank you for being here today at the table with master artists and atlanta local legends i had fun stay healthy safe and create i love you that's from michelle michelle and we're gonna me, give you a round of applause on that yes yes, yes and yes. let me say this i'm so proud of the both of you i'm so proud of you Oh, thank you, Chandra. Awesome. I was telling them we came up from the, the great Booker T. Washington High together. Yes. yes. And, um, and, and it's amazing that I think all of us worked in our gift. Uh, Gary, I think you were saying how you felt when you first saw that, that person jump out the window and whatever the name of the... <laughs> <laughs> well, I was five years old in, at English Avenue Elementary School. They invited the kindergartners to this master, this talent show or something that they had going on. And I remember sitting on the front row in the auditorium looking at this huge stage. Can you imagine how the stage looked to a five year old? But th this guy came out and sung Sam Cooks. It's a Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. And I was through. I was like, this is what I want to do. <laughs> I like to showcase artists. I like to uh, 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 make sure that they operate in their gifts. And so mm -hmm. that's what Michelle and I and our board of directors as and, and I got to give a shout out to our amazing marketing director who who created and designed our newsletter, uh, Tammy Harrison. And we have a dynamic board of directors that have uh, we got a paralegal there. We have a playwright. We have a nonprofit uh, uh, consultant on our board. And so we were founded in 2012. And we, every year we've been trying to take it to the next level. So we're working on our own building where we can really have a creative space, oh. and safe space for the artists to come and be as creative as they want to. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yes. Yeah, so the last thing is um, if you could take the word I am soul, S-O-U-L, and turn the word soul into an acronym, what would it be? Oh. I am strong, outstanding, unique, and lovable. Yes. I am soul. Yes. What would your soul be? Mm. I give you a minute. Shady. No. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not shady. God, the audio was on. I'm sorry. <laughs> just take a hot second and think okay. about I am soul. Okay. Let's see. Sincere. Mm hmm. Outgoing. Ah. So. Just think about it. That you. 
Yes. <laughs> you can still unique. Unique. Understanding. <laughs> Understanding. That's a good one. And I lo- am so loving. Okay. So, Sandra, say yours out. I am sincere, outgoing, universal, loving. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading, I'm reading I, Michelle. <laughs> oh, yeah. She said she's going crazy. I hope you enjoy <laughs> Oh. Well, if you can't think about it right now, just, you know, drop us a line or two. Drop Michelle a line and we'll put it in. So right now, we're right at 349. And once again, we are so elated to have you as our first uh, master artist at our at the table with the artists. You've probably shared so much for people that they, I'm seeing people saying, oh, I really enjoyed it. Somebody sent me a, a text and say, I'm enjoying this conversation. So thank you for taking the time out of your busy, busy schedules. If you could, I want to see how this will work. Because sometimes on, on, on Zoom, people can't get it together in sync. But if you could say the words, I am so, and, and it's for us, I would appreciate it more than anything. So on the count of three, Good. one, two, three. I, I am, am so, oh. so, <laughs> so, yes. Well, thank you oh. for joining us. Look out for some more information from us. Well and do. audience, don't forget to subscribe. Go to pdfculturalcenter.org and make sure you get the next issue of the Soul Collective. It's been a joy and a privilege. And as Don Cornelius says, I wish you <laughs> love, peace, and so, oh. oh. everybody, y'all have a great <laughs> evening. Thank Thanks you so everybody. much. Stay safe, Miss Michelle. Great to see you all. Love you all. Love you too. Love you Thank you, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Bye bye. Thank you.